The Trouble with Steam Pumps Part 4 A Southworth Engine's large duplex steam pump cleaning up the port face and slide valves. It is Sunday the 28th of March and the clocks have gone forward and I'm in the editing room voicing over this video. The thing that I've just put on the bench is a really big heavy surface plate. Well it's not really, it came off an old engraving machine but it is flat. You can use a piece of plate glass for this job because the whole point of the exercise is to clean up the slide valves and the port face and make sure they are perfectly flat. And my weapon of choice for this is a piece of 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper. And it's neither wet or dry, it's oily. I normally put a spot of oil on just to help the metal cut. And off we go. This is an incredibly boring video, so you may as well switch off now. I can't do anything about it. I try and show how I do the jobs, and this is part of doing the job. What I have to do is get rid of all the scoring from the valves and the port face, and the scoring is quite deep. I'm going to edit this down. It's going to be a fraction of the time that it actually took to do the job. And the only thing that makes this job tolerable is the fact that when it's finished, the pump should run OK. Before I get a torrent of comments from experts, yes, I am aware that I could put the slide valves followed by the port face block into the milling machine and machine a tiny amount off both of the valves and the port face itself. Why didn't I do it like that? Because there's a slight risk of the parts being destroyed by accident in the milling machine. This is a safe way of doing the job if you're a beginner, and it's quite a good skill to learn. Generally speaking, in this job, I'm moving the valve in the opposite direction to the way it's scored. After a lot of cleaning up on the piece of wet or dry sandpaper, in this clip I'm cleaning the valve on a piece of cloth. Most people know what this stuff is, it's called tea cut. It's a liquid that has some abrasive in it, and it's very fine. In the next step, which I will do on both of the valves and the port face when I get round to it, I've poured some tea cut onto the cast iron surface plate. No sandpaper needed, I'm just lapping it in on the plate. And when this part of the job's completed, the slide valve should be near perfect as far as flatness is concerned. The final job to do on each of the parts is to clean away all of the abrasive and for this I'm using some stuff called gun wash and it's not very good stuff to handle so I'm going to show me handling it very shortly but I don't want anybody else to do that. I use this stuff quite a lot but I try and keep my fingers out of it and it's also a very good idea to use it in a well ventilated space. As usual I'm using an aerosol can top and I'm pouring some gun wash into there, after which I drop the part into it. And of course there now follows a health and safety warning. Don't do it like this, because it contains methanol and other nasty things. You can see that it's turned my thumbnail and part of my thumb white, which is a change, it's usually black. Here's a before and after with the slide valves. The one on the left, of course, is the one you've just seen me working on, and now just for a change, the slide valve on the right is going to get the same treatment. Sparing no expense, I've selected a new piece of wet or dry sandpaper, and this time I'm not using oil, I'm just using tea cut, because it helps the abrasion process, and also it allows the part to move more freely over the sandpaper. Often when I show this kind of a process, a bit of a debate starts. People tell me that you should always go in a figure of eight motion, but in this case, I'm working, generally speaking, in the opposite direction to the way the valve is scored. The process for cleaning slide valve number two is exactly the same as for cleaning slide valve number one. And after a lot of time and effort that makes my arm ache, they both look like this. The next time you forget to oil your steam engine, maybe it's a good idea to watch this video. A rub on the cloth completes the operation. Two perfect slide valves. This is the port face block, and it's in a right mess. It doesn't actually look too bad in this shot, but it's worse than it looks. And the bad news is, this is much more difficult to do than working on a simple small slide valve. There's a lot more metal to remove. I started off with a small piece of wet or dry sandpaper, but it was too small. And at this rate, I don't think my lifespan is going to be long enough to complete the job. Change of plan. Use a full size piece of wet or dry sandpaper and plenty of tea cut. This appears to be slightly easier. I'm running the video at double speed, 
just to get through it a bit quicker. And initially I thought it wasn't looking too bad until I cleaned off the residue and had a close look. I've got rid of some of the scarring but it needs to be a lot better than this. Just this part of the job, cleaning up the port face on one side, took over an hour. The good thing about this is you can let your mind wander. And now spring has started, it's that time when a young man's fancy turns to thoughts of which steam engine should I steam up in the garden first? This 400 grit wet dry sandpaper is not quite abrasive enough. A while back I bought a pack of wet dry sandpaper online. The pack contained quite a few sheets of wet dry sandpaper, all of different grades. The trouble is it's not very good stuff and it doesn't cut for long before it's useless. And it's also a pain sorting through the pack to find the grade of grit that you need. This is a quite coarse sheet of wet or dry sandpaper, I think it's about 180 grit, I can't remember. I'm using it to remove more metal before the abrasive goes. Then it's back to the good quality sheet of 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper. The rough stuff removes slightly more material and there isn't that much scoring left to get through. And it's top tip time. For this job the wet or dry sandpaper starts off being okay but then after a while it doesn't cut so well, here's a good solution. After I used all four sides for the job, it was time to do something about it. The middle bit was still alright, so I simply cut away the parts I didn't need. I cut away one side at a time, and that left me plenty of sandpaper area to continue doing the job. You can see what I'm doing here, I'm starting again on a virgin piece of wet or dry sandpaper. Seven minutes into the video and I still haven't finished. I think the time has come to really speed things up. Finally now, I'm getting somewhere with this job. There isn't much more scoring left to remove. Time for a clean up and a look at the progress so far. And yes, some scoring is still present, but there's not much and that should be quite easy to get rid of. Just a bit more of the same, cut off another piece of wet or dry sandpaper and back to doing exactly the same job. In the end, I finally got there. All the scoring was removed, and here I'm cleaning up the part using some of the gun wash. And this time, I'm not dipping my fingers in the pot. This is the underside, and this is a part of the mechanism that allows the changeover so that one valve operates the other cylinder. I also gave this quite a good rub on the wet or dry sandpaper because when I first did it, the part was actually concave. But now this very important part of the pump is flat on both sides. This job really did take a long time and it was very tedious and very boring. The only good thing, as I mentioned earlier, is that you can let your mind wander onto other things. Cleaning up parts manually is a good skill to learn. I've found it very useful over the years. But that's it for this video. I'd just like to say, as I always do, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.